Hi there, James here, and welcome to another one of my Lick of the Week lessons. Now, I've had a few requests lately for some BB King licks, so that's what today's video is all about. I'm going to show you a really uh, short and tasty little lick in the style of BB King using some of his favourite sort of soloing tricks. Before we go any further, uh, make sure to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of my future Lick of the Week lessons. A lot of blues, rock, and all sorts of stuff coming your way. Um, but in this lesson, what I'm going to do is demonstrate the lick for you over a backing track in a second. Then I'm going to show you the scale shapes it comes from. Then I'll break it down bit by bit, show you how to play it. By the end of this video, you know exactly how to play this lick. So let's check out the lick now and hear what it sounds like over the backing track. <laughs> Now the lick is in the key of A and it's using a mixture of minor and pentatonic scales which is one of the favourite sort of tricks of players like BB King. You get the sort of bluesy sound of the minor scales with the sweet sort of major sound of the major pentatonic scales. So let's check out how we can combine these two scales now because that's going to help you come up with some cool licks in this style of your own. So let's have a look at the scale shapes next. So I'm sure you all know your basic A minor pentatonic shape down here at the fifth fret, shape one. <laughs> do with that is combine uh, some of the notes from the A major pentatonic scale as well. So we're going to get this kind of mixture of the two scales. So here's the A major pentatonic shape in question. 5 to 7 on the E, 4 to 7 on the A and D string, 4 to 6 on the G, 5 to 7 on the B and the high E string. Now we're not going to use the whole scale shape here. What we're really going to do is borrow some of the notes from the top part of this scale and mix them in with our minor pentatonic scale. So if we do that, we can kind of come up with a little collection of notes which will work nicely when we combine them. So what we're going to do is play the 5th fret on the G string and the 6th fret on the G string, 5 to 7 on the B and 5 to 8 on the high E string. Now, I've shown you this because this is a really easy little shape to get, which kind of mixes up the two um, different scales and gives you the sound of them both. So you've got a simple little shape there to memorise, and you can play around with that because there's a lot of ways you can mix it up, and having a simple shape like that is going to make it a bit easier. So one more time, here's that little uh, fragment on the top three strings. So we're using this note from the major pentatonic, this note from the major pentatonic, and these notes from the minor pentatonic. Now this little scale is really where the sound of this lick is coming from. So let's break the lick up bit by bit now and I'll show you how to play it. Now the very first part of the lick is going like this. It's going one, two, three. And again, one, two, three. Let's check out how we play that. So nice and easy to start with, I'm beginning on the 5th fret on the G string. Now I'm going to pick that and I'm going to slide it up a fret to the 5th, to the 6th fret, sorry. So I'm going to use my 2nd finger for that. Now this is important, this is what we call our minor 3rd. This is a, a bluesy note, it's one of the notes in the minor pentatonic scale. But what we're doing is sliding it up a fret so it becomes what's called the major 3rd. And it's kind of the mixture of these two licks that gives us this sort of sweet BB King sound. And it's something that a lot of blues players do anyway. So remember that little uh, move here because it's something you can work on. Five sliding up to six on the G, uh, sort of fitting within those pentatonic patterns that we've done. So five to six on the G. Then onto the B string now, we're gonna go five to seven. And then hit the top here at the fifth fret, a little bit of a brat on that. Okay, that's how the lick starts. What we're going to do now is take our shape here, our shape one pentatonic, we're going to move it up an octave, so that's 12 frets, and we're going to pluck the top two strings up at the 17th fret. So what we've really done is taken this part of the scale here, and we've moved it up an octave or 12 frets, which is now up at the 17th fret. We're going to hit that, let it ring for a second, and slide it down the neck. And that's something that BB used to do a lot in his solos. That's how the lick kicks off.
Now the second part of the lick is doing this. Three, four. It's a really tasty little blues licker. I mean, I love the sound of that. I think you'll find that would be useful to add when you're playing. So let's check out how we're playing that part of the lick. So I'm starting on this note here at the seventh fret. So this is one of the notes which we added into our minor pentatonic scale. It's a major pentatonic note. And this is a nice note to substitute in to your minor pentatonic scale. Um, just gives you a really cool sound. So do experiment with this note here. It's sitting here at the seventh fret, sort of within this scale shape, okay? So we're starting on the seventh fret on the B. I'm gonna play that with my second finger. Then I'm gonna play the eighth fret on the high E with my third finger, pick it and pull off to my first finger down at the fifth fret. And then go back to that seventh fret on the B again. And what we're gonna do now is hit that top E at the eighth fret twice. So it's like this, three, four. Three, four. Three, four. Next, we're going to pull off down to our first finger at the fifth fret. Then go on to the B string. We're going to go down our little major pentatonic notes here. Seven to five on the B string. I'm going to pull them off. to the G string and we're going to play 7 to 5 on the G. I would pick that and pull it off and then hammer my second finger onto that major third again at the 6th fret. And end by hitting the high E string at the 5th fret. With a bit of vibrato added onto that. That's that section. Let me play it very slowly for you again. So three, four. Two, three, four. The lick ends with a funky little blues uh, chord idea like this. Sure you heard that kind of idea before in lots of blues players. So let's check out how we play that. And then let's have a listen to the whole lick when I put it together. For the little chord lick at the end, I'm barring the G and B at the seventh fret. Then I'm barring the G and B at the fifth fret with my first finger. I'm gonna pick that double stop. Then I'm gonna hammer my second finger onto the G string at six. Okay, so here's what the whole lick sounds like if I put it all together. That's one, two, three. Two, three. sounds but if you've watched any of my other videos you'll know that I always tell you that what you need to do is take the bits out of this lick and experiment with using them to come up with some of your own ideas and I think the main thing from this lick is really this little sort of hybrid scale which we're getting on the top our uh, three strings here this one here you can hear that it just has a certain sound that sounds like BB King's playing in a way so I think what would be a cool thing to do would be to put on a backing track take some of the ideas from this lick but also just see what you can do with that scale to come up with a few different sounds because there's a lot of nice licks hiding in there. You've just got to discover them and bring them out. So put on a backing track and just have a bit of a jam over there and see what you can do with them. So let me um, have a little go at that now. Trying out 
out some different things. Now, you can hear I'm using a bit of blues scale, a bit of minor pentatonic scale in there too. It's not like I'm only using the notes in that first part of the scale. I'm just practicing dipping into them and mixing them in with the stuff I would normally do. This is how you're going to soak this little uh, scale ideas up into your playing and it's going to help you just expand the sort of blues sounds which you come up with in your solos. Instead of being blue scale or minor pentatonic all the time, you're going to get a bit of this major sweetness when you want it. So that's definitely something to take from this lick and check out how to do it. And the fragments from this lick are going to give you some clues about what you can do with that scale to get some cool sounds. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this lesson. Have fun experimenting with this. Have fun learning this lick. Remember to subscribe to my channel because there's loads more great lessons just like this coming every week from now on. So do subscribe so you don't miss any of my future video lessons. Other than that, thanks a lot for watching. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you next time. So take care. Bye for now.